really has been the headline all day early this morning. The Arizona Supreme Court ruling that they will reinstate the near total abortion law dating back to 1864. Now that law bans all abortions in Arizona except for cases when the mother's life is at risk. The ruling makes it a felony punishable by two to five years in prison for anyone who performs or helps a woman get an abortion. This comes after the Arizona Supreme Court heard oral arguments back in December on whether a 15 week ban or a near total ban on abortion would become the law of the state. And for this, let's turn things over to political specialist Eric Fink, who is live from the state capitol in Phoenix with reaction from Governor Katie Hobbs. Eric. Well, it was a stunner. Monica Sean, good evening to you both. Governor Hobbs joined by Democratic state lawmakers just minutes after the news was released. They all had a look of disbelief on their faces. They really believed after oral arguments late last year that the state Supreme Court would side with the 15-week abortion ban passed by the legislature just two years ago. Now, in two weeks' time, Arizona will have one of the most extreme abortion bans in the country and it was first put into place 48 years before Arizona was a state. Governor Hobbs says she is devastated that the state Supreme Court would turn back the clock 160 years. She says the chaos and confusion will continue for women and their doctors. Hobbs hopes this will energize voters to show up at the polls in November. Arizonans for abortion access trying to get a ballot measure in front of voters that would codify abortion rights in the state constitution. With this ruling now stayed for two weeks, the governor demanding the legislature take action. You will also hear at the six o'clock hour from a longtime professor at the U of A. She's an expert on abortion law. Her reaction to this monumental decision. I am calling on the legislature to do the right thing right now and repeal this 1864 ban and protect access to reproductive health care. The Republican majority in the legislature has time and again refused to act to protect our freedoms. My first reaction to today's decision was disappointment. Uh, my second reaction was it's going to galvanize uh, voters. It will galvanize the movement to get the constitutional amendment passed, assuming it makes it onto the ballot. Also speaking at this news conference earlier today, State Senator Eva Birch. She is a nurse. A couple of weeks ago, she went public with her decision to have an abortion. She says she very much wanted to have a child, but her pregnancy, she says, was not viable. Her reaction to the Supreme Court's decision coming up tonight at 10 o'clock. We're live this evening in Phoenix at the state capitol. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson. All right, thank you for that, 